Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley is leading a new push tonight to get more families into more energy efficient homes, saying the cost savings over time complement what the initiative does for the environment. Fox Eyes Bob Barnard shows us one example. They're building a community of new homes near downtown Frederick, priced from the mid 200s, billed as smart green homes where they say it almost pays to go green. We've gotten our first bill. It was 50 cents for the electric. <laughs> uh, we we're expecting that eventually they'll be paying us. Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley toured the community today and praised the builders work. I mean, we all know we live in changing times. The question is what we're going to make of these times and whether we're going to make something new and something better. They're called net zero homes. It should all over the course of the year come out to zero. Pilar Olivo is talking about the cost of cooling and heating her new home, five bedrooms, three and a half baths. Well, I used to live in New Hampshire where we spend about $3,000 a year on heating costs. So for us, I mean, being in a super insulated home is going to be fabulous. There are no AC units outside and solar panels on nearly every rooftop. You put it on the roof, run a wire to the breaker box, and you're making power. Even in bad weather, according to the manufacturer's sales rep. We have monitoring systems, so you can sit in your computer and see what your system's doing. And people call me up and say, there's still a foot of snow on my panels, but they're making power. The solar radiation got through that layer. The company that makes these solar panels is based in Sterling, Virginia, but says 95% of what they make is shipped overseas to countries like India and Israel, Germany and Spain. Governor O'Malley says Maryland is offering incentives to make it more appealing for more people to buy in. The combination of the net metering law, which allows the homeowner to sell energy back to the grid, uh, the uh, solar uh, tax credit, and also the geothermal tax credit. When you stack those credits, it actually brings down the initial selling price of the house so that it's really competitive in the marketplace. The seller telling us about 10 to 15 percent more than a new home that's not green. In Frederick, Bob Barnard, Fox 5.